Hello everyone, it is Toby here, and oh look at that, I can go with it, normal, with a normal, with a normal. Anyway, welcome back to uh, the 1.12.2 pack, our modded series on the channel, and in today's episode we're actually going to be preparing to move house. Yeah, this villager house I feel like is going to outgrow me incredibly quick, so if we just pop outside here and come up here, I AFK'd a bit and left the quarry going, and oh that is some horrible frame rate, anyway. As you can see, let's try and not fall into this quarry. It goes all the way down to bedrock. I know it's full of water, but we just encountered a cave and we got loads and loads of really cool stuff. We actually broke through a spawner and what seems like a dungeon chest, which is really, really quite cool. Uh, we got a load of cool stuff from there by the looks of it. No diamonds, which is a shame. Um, not a lot of ore in total actually, not too much at all, but loads of cobblestone, loads of building materials for us to work on building a new base, because obviously we've got chisel and stuff in this mod pack, uh, which means that we can make some really basic blocks look quite nice. So if you remember, we found these really cool mountains just over here, so our house is just down there and it's literally just over here we found these huge really cool looking mountains that I said I wanted to make into a possible base location so if we just run over here as you can see proper massive mountains like absolutely huge and the one behind it's even bigger and I want to move into this hill I want to move into the mountain and we got these jump boots which you can charge up with energy which I've done uh, in the wind turbine and yeah look just look it's huge it's massive it's really cool but I'm thinking that to start with we are going to build our base on the side of this mountain so maybe from there to there we'll have a platform that sort of semi-circular platform where we can start base of operations and then later on we can expand into the hill and then up to this massive one out the back here could be a really cool idea because then we both get access to colder climates and this lush green uh, forest down here but yeah, I'm thinking that could be a really cool idea and we just need to move all our stuff over. So in order to move our stuff over, we need to... Whoa, that frame rate. It's every time I load in this biome back here. It's ridiculous. But anyway, in order to move our stuff over, we need a couple things because we, it's not as simple as just picking up everything and moving because... Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of chests of stuff. So we need some way to move the chests over without dropping the items everywhere because I can't be bothered to do a thousand trips. I ideally want to do it in one trip, but we've got all these chests full of stuff. Luckily, I know about something in Mechanism called a cardboard box here that basically you right click on a chest and you can pick it up as a cardboard box with all of its items inside, put it down the other side and take the cardboard box off and you've got your chest. Right, so we need to make this chest. And all you need for that is sawdust or wood pulp, something like that. And the way you get uh, sawdust is in a lumber mill, but obviously not just a lumber mill. There's other types. So the mechanism of sawdust you can get in a uh, precision sawmill, as you can see. Or there was another type of sawdust, I believe, a sag mill. You can sag mill that. There was one more type, not the binnies one. Not the mechanism, the thermal foundation one. All we need for that is a pulverizer or a sawmill. And the great thing about the pulverizer is we actually need that in the future to make our uh, ore system, I think. So we can quite easily make a pulverizer because that could double our ores. I know there's a way to triple ores, but for now we can double ores. So we need a machine frame, very easy to craft. Uh, some flint, a piston, some copper gears, and a redstone reception coil, which is just some gold and redstone. And I think... No, we don't. Oh, we do have gold. Gold, redstone. Gold, redstone. What else did we need? Piston, two flint, copper gear. We've only got six copper, so we're going to have to go up to the quarry and get some of that ore. Okay, I believe I have all of the resources I need to craft a pulverizer now, which is nice. So just like that. Pulverizer. And hopefully it just absorbs energy from hit. No. Oh, that's because there's no energy actually in there. Let's grab a little bit of coal and see if that powers that. 
no. No, it just powers that. So we need some way to convert it to RF. And I know that up here, I believe, hopefully it will connect to the universal cable. Yes. Good. So we can actually just use this, which is good. So we just need to basically pulverize a bunch, a bunch of wood. If we have wood. Okay, let's pulverize a bunch of this birch wood into sawdust. Perfect. So let's get ourselves a bunch of that. So we now have enough sawdust to make a bunch of cardboard boxes, which means we should hopefully be able to just come in here and get all of these boxes with our chests in them, which is super, super nice. That's really good. See, oak chest, all of the different chests you can pick up in cardboard boxes and it should be cool. But as for these, we can just, just mine everything else up. So we have moved onto this stone platform on the side of a hill in the middle of nowhere. And this is really cool. So we're very high up, as you can see very very high up and I've got uh, this wind turbine set up again just into the pulverizer and metallurgic infuser because you know we need some machines and stuff and then I've got obviously all of our chests down and I made up some of this cobblestone uh, with the chisel I made here that's really easy to make stick and iron ingot uh, just to make this cool looking floor which I think will be the floor for what we want but in today's episode what I really want to work on is an ore doubling setup so that we can start uh, doubling our ores and getting more out of them. So what we need for that is obviously this pulverizer. As you can see, it makes all of these uh, pulverized iron, two of them from one ore, and then you can use uh, this in a redstone furnace to make one to one. So you actually end up doubling your ore. So we need a redstone furnace for that. So if we go in here and have a look what we need for a redstone furnace. Uh, we can get some augments for it as well. We need some bricks. A machine frame, two more copper gears, another redstone reception coil, and some redstone. So that is all very easy to get. I'm going to have to probably jump down there, and I already see some clay there for the uh, redstone furnace. So that is what we are going to do. Okay, there we go. We have got the redstone furnace, which we'll just put here next to the pulverizer. And now I believe if we do something like this and have that be an input and that be an output... We can automatically get the dust for that we put in there smelted up. So let's give it a go. Let's let's grab some ore. I think I've got some in here. Let's grab this iron ore and whack it in the pulverizer. It's quite slow at the minute, but we will see. Hopefully that working. And yeah, go straight into there to make some iron up. So that's really cool. Ore doubling complete. And, yeah, so we'll get all of our ore that we've got from the quarry processed up, and then we'll work on the next bit. So I've put a chest on the top of each of these. We've got an iron chest for the output, because obviously we're doubling the ore we put in here. So it's double the size of a oak chest, which makes sense. But I've got all the ore that we collected up from the quarry. As I said, not too much, but just whack it all in. And hopefully it should be automatically inputted in here. We have this pulverized nickel. What if we... Can that be changed to that? Yeah, it can. Sick. So now that gets smelt up into a nickel ingot. Okay, cool. So that should now automatically just do that, which is really nice. A very compact little ore doubling setup there. It's really nice. And eventually when we have like a proper big storage area, like an ME system or something, we can have an input bus on there, an export bus on there, and just have all the ore in the system automatically go and get doubled, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, all the lead's being made up there, and I don't know if any of these will cause issues in the pulverizer. So that doesn't have any outputs. How about the yellow, all right? No, that doesn't have any extras. The tin has iron. Good, that can be smelted. The aluminium has iron, which can be smelted. Iron has nickel. Uranium has just uranium. That's good. Nickel has pulverized platinum, which can be smelted. Good. Um, how about silver has lead which can be smelted and copper has gold which can be smelted so all of the extra dust you get out of there can be smelted so that's good 
we don't need any sort of extra tubes to come off that, which is really nice. But yes, that is a very simple ore doubling setup. And now we're doubling ore. We're going to want to have the quarry set up again. But we've got a lot of cobblestone, like a lot. So we need to do something about that. And if you search cobblestone in here, you can see that you can compress cobblestone up to octuple, which is 43 million 46,721 cobblestone, which is way more than we have. So all you do that is craft that uh, up and up and up, as you can see. So what we need is some sort of auto crafting table. And what uh, we need to do is just get, is there an auto crafting? So there's a crafting unit, which is for the ME system, a ma uh, magnetic crafting table. Hmm. Is there any sort of auto workbench? What if we search workbench? Hmm, these may look promising. Industrial workbench. Cell workbench. Auto workbench. That's what we want. So it's a crafting table and two stone gears. So, okay. Let's let's give that a go. So we need two stone gears. Oh, that's stone, not cobblestone. Right, we're going to have to smelt that up. Uh, we can, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll get I'll get working on that. So the auto workbench we've got placed down, and I don't know. Do we do we need power for this? I, I don't know. Let's grab up our cobblestone anyway. Give it a go. So if we put in nine cobblestone, it'll make that cobblestone. We put that in. Oh, it just does it. Ooh. Okay. And then we get the output. I see. Lazy craft. It just does it for me. Okay, well, in the future, I mean, that's definitely not going to be able to keep up with the rate of cobblestone production that a quarry does. But it, it'll it work for now. It'll, it'll work eventually. Right, so we just need to pump in cobblestone there and pump out the compressed cobblestone into another auto workbench. They're cheap as chips, so that's really good. Just keep have a production line all the way up to octuple, and that's how we can store all our cobblestone. If we ever need cobblestone, we just grab out some of them. Right. Okay. It needs a pickaxe. Right. Okay. So we need one there, two, three. We just need to line them up all along there, basically. Then we can set the quarry off off the edge here. All right, that works. Let's get working. So I believe this should work now. I've just used the build craft pipes and redstone engines to hopefully pump between them, which is good. And that is going to do my head in if I don't change this around. So there we go. And does this work? If we can, yes, okay. And then when we get a ninth one, it'll make, it'll make one. Okay, that's what we need. That is what we need. And then we will make one of them and it'll pump it across here, a double, and then we can compress that into a triple when we get nine of them, of course, and then when we get the triple, I'll put the crafting recipe and so on, just keep expanding when we need it to. But what we need now is we need something to ex only put cobblestone in here, which we need, I believe, a diamond pipe, which we can do. We just need a bit of glass and two diamonds. We're going to get eight diamond pipes out of this, so we can definitely use them in future. So, right. If we put a diamond pipe on there, set green to cobblestone. And do we have any leftover stone and wood? No, we don't. We need to make up some more. So we got some stone and we got wood. Right. So we need a wood one there. And a stone one to go back into that chest. Meaning it only it'll take everything out of the chest. And if it's cobblestone, it'll go in there. If not, it will go up and back in. And oh, that might get stuck in an infinite loop of dirt. I'll tell you what, we're not going to do this yet. We're going to do it slightly differently. So we're going to have it come off the quarry. 
uh, being the diamond pipe, and it will sort. If it's cobblestone, it'll just go straight into there. And then anything else will go into the chest. And then if that fills up, I think cobblestone should also go out, right? Hmm. I might put a diamond chest buffer between the uh, workbench and the pipe. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out. Actually, I'm thinking at the rate of which the cobblestone's being pumped in from the wooden pipe, we may not even need a buffer. Because as you can see, every time it crafts it, it takes nine of them out, and it doesn't get nine of them in at the rate of crafting, so it's forever at a decline. So we may not even need this buffer. I'm gonna leave it here just so I can put in the extra cobblestone that we have to compress up. Just so I can, you know, chuck it in there if we get some from, like, manual mining. But, yeah, this chest is now going to be our quarry output. And how far along the chain have we got? Have we got a triple yet? We don't have a triple yet. Okay. But, yeah, this is working. This is how we're now going to do it. So, we need our quarry. So, say I'm going to quarry out... Let's just say we're going to quarry out that's just gonna chop straight through the chest basically i'm gonna use the quarry as a means to give myself more space if that makes sense so i'm gonna quarry into the mountain right so if i put the quarry here does that break anything i don't believe it does which is good so we need our power setup so we need a rf energy consumer a energy bridge and a energy producer so we actually need to move this quarry to here that shouldn't mess anything still and i don't actually want to put uh the heat quarry on just yet because i want it no that goes into that chest we can't have that right Let's actually place this pipe in the correct place and get more pipes made up with our cobblestone. There we go. And then here, we'll have a diamond pipe, which says, go in here, cobblestone. What color is that? Cobblestone go blue everything else comes straight down so hopefully we need more pipes again right hopefully this should work hope and if it doesn't keep up hmm that might be an issue if yeah if this doesn't keep up we'll see come on place and you cool and I think if we do that, it should work. Yes, good. It is going to take out our lighting, though. So we'll have to put some more down. But I think we should be on to a winner here. So the first bench wasn't actually uh, keeping up. Because this brings out one every second. And this only crafts a block in like 10 or 13 seconds or something. So there was always cobblestone building up and building up so eventually this would have got full and we would have had an overflow here so what i did was i added a second bench in here which crafts up the initial double cobblestone so hopefully these should never uh, back up now and then by the time we get to the double cobblestone obviously it can keep up perfectly fine but the quarry is still going well we've all actually got our first of the triple cobblestone through so we can make now the quadruple when we get enough cobblestone but i've hooked the quarry up and hopefully, in a minute, we should see this work. Right, let's let's build this. We need to actually sort up. Of, next episode, we're going to make a proper power rig. Because one turbine isn't enough. And I think if you make the turbines go higher, they actually produce more power. So we'll make more of these universal cables and put a wind farm on top of this mountain. Could be an idea for early power, but... 
Hopefully we should see cobblestone come through the pipe. Yes, good. And hopefully the rate of cobblestone coming through here will keep up with this fine. So we're getting one every second. And there it also looks like one every second. We may have to add a second buffer chest for cobble at this rate. Ah, oh, okay. This is going to be a juggle to see if we can make everything keep up. But hopefully this should, when it gets to the diamond pipe, split off fine. Let's have a look. Come on. We need to get some gold pipes where we don't. That'll make it move, move quicker and that's what we don't want. So, come through, come through. And hopefully cobblestone should continue going straight. Come on, don't... Yes, there we go. Perfect. And hopefully this doesn't back up ridiculously. Otherwise, we're going to have to add another redstone engine working on this and maybe another crafting bench. Because I think this is now keeping up perfectly fine. Because if we add another redstone engine, that would be two every second. So we might have to add a third bench for that. But I'm going to toy with that off camera. As for this episode, that is all we've got time. We've actually got loads done this episode. We've got some auto crafting setup going on. We've got the quarry working nice with some auto sorting here. So everything else goes into here. Apart from the cobblestone, which gets compressed up. And I think that is some really, really good progress that we've made. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the 1.12.2 pack. I've been Toby. We've got loads done. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely check out the other series on my channel on Author Blocks. It's an SMP series, Vanilla Minecraft. So much fun. Loads of good people. I do a lot of cool building on there. But anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Toby, and I'll see you in the next one.